Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here, and in this video I have a real treat for you. This is Mr. Smite taking down the High Justice Grimstone in Heroic. And not only High Justice, Mr. Smite can work in a bunch of other heroics as well, and this can actually open up a path to completing multiple heroics on a budget. Because Mr. Smite, this is the combo that sometimes also used in PvP, but not very effective, but it's much better in PvE. Mr. Smite combo. So we have Mr. Smite with the Overboard ability. None of the other abilities really matter. None of the gear matters. It's just the Overboard. And preferably you want to level that up as much as possible because then Smite gains more health. But even an unleveled Overboard might be able to do things. Then we have Cornelius Rome, and Cornelius needs a bit more than Mr. Smite. Cornelius needs a good Blessing of Sacrifice and good Shield of Dawn. The idea here is that on turn 2, when the cooldowns of these abilities have passed, you activate the overboard on Mr. Smite, Mr. Smite is going to attack whenever someone else takes damage, you Blessing of Sacrifice Mr. Smite with Cornelius, so also whenever Mr. Smite takes damage, Cornelius takes it instead, so Mr. Smite attacks again. And as the third piece of the puzzle, you need Rokara, with Helm of Inspiration and a good offensive rally. So whenever a friendly character attacks, give it plus 7, plus 14. So Rokara activates offensive rally, Mr. Smite is going to start attacking, Mr. Smite is going to get tons of buffs, and Mr. Smite will keep going as long as damage is taken every time. So not Cornelius has 3 damage reduction from his gear, so in some cases, like in High Justice, you cannot pick up the damage reduction treasure. If you pick up damage reduction treasure, Smite attacks into the 5 attack add, 3 from Cornelius damage reduction, 3 from the treasure, 6, Smite doesn't take any damage, the combo ends. The combo also ends once Cornelius dies. So by that point you should either have killed all the opponents, or you should have so big Smite that Smite can just solo everything that's left. There are two ways that you can pull off this combo at the boss. If the boss doesn't deal too much damage on turn 1, you can just start with Smite, Rokara, Cornelius, skip turn 1, and turn 2 do the combo. High Justice, however, deals a ton of damage on turn 1, so you can't just put them out there because they would just start dying. So you need to get something else on the board, and you need them to die as quickly as possible. And for this one I used Anduin, Felon and Xyrella, but it later occurred to me that I could have also used Cariel, Samuro and Xyrella, making this a full 6 rare budget team. The only thing that matters is that the team is good enough to get to the boss without losing anybody. And in the case of High Justice, you just want the first tree to die as quick as possible, preferably at the same time, so that then you can put your combo team on the board. And when it works, this stuff is downright hilarious. So let's go take a look at Mr. Smite in action. So ideally, I want everyone to die. Anduin, Velen, and Sorella. I want them all to die. How do I get them all to die? I mean, that's 80 damage AoE. Might as well shoot at the boss a little. Does no harm. Do you want to reduce the boss's attack? There's a risk that some of these attacks and then the attack is disrupted so they don't get second wind fury hit in. That would have to happen twice. Job done. I think this is okay. I have time to shoot at the boss a little bit. And then all of these should die. But they didn't! Because exactly the worst case scenario happened, the Wind Fury effect was disrupted. Which one of these survives? Cornelius? Maybe Cornelius survives. I killed these guys with Firecomb team. Oh, I've killed them with plenty of teams. But I want to kill them with the combo. But we'll see. I mean, Rokara almost certainly dies here. I could do a bit of damage while I'm waiting. Well, 
Whenever Cornelius is attacked, give them divine shield. Worked well. Then. Can we take them down with the combo? The crucial moment is here. The setup has been done. Everything is ready. Everything has been waiting for this moment. Is this a glorious victory? Or is it not? A little bit annoying with the Divine Shield, but I mean, if we kill these two, then that one will fall next turn. Smite will have so much health and attack. If the boss goes down, then nothing else will matter. Boss went down. Look at this. Smitey time, boys. Smitey time. We did it. The combo did it. I just needed to find a party that got to the top without losing anybody. And was able to get enough stuff killed fast enough. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel and check out my Twitch channel.